um, so I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown as to what I wear um, at home. I literally wear the same thing like essentially every single day and you all know that. Um, so the first one is this Pride and Prejudice sweatshirt. I think Joni makes the cutest sweatshirt. They're all super cozy. They have this like little fuzzy writing or at least this one does. Um, and they're just like very comfortable. There's something that you can even style if you want to wear like an outfit, like wear a denim jacket over it. This one like is the is one from one of the recent collections that came out right after summer. Um, the other thing that I always wear are these Balkan track pants. Um, I've had these for actually two years. I love them so much that I did buy a second pair. Um, I think they come out like with these track pants every season. It's like one of their classic pieces. But these, uh, based on the season collection, these little lines like change. Um, I think, again, like these are really chic. You can wear them with trainers. Um, you can, I have these like hunched up, I don't know why. Um, you can wear these with trainers. You can wear them with like a button down. You can wear them to the airport. They make like the perfect airport outfit. I kind of want to give you a glimpse into like my office space. So this is our dining room. Um, it is nice and bright and big with like this really lovely table. Um, and this is kind of the workspace that I've just kind of established for myself. I'll give you a glimpse into my week. This, I still calendar block in. You guys know that I love it. I'm going to link the blog post below. It's probably my most popular blog post of all time, but I spend every Monday um, automating my social media posts and working on um, a little bit of SEO as well as my newsletter. But my main task for Mondays are off are always social media and newsletter. Um, so over here, you'll see that I have each social media channel that I use. Uh, under Pinterest, for example, because I just finished Facebook, um, I have all the tasks that I need to do. So as I finish each, each task, I just delete it. Um, what I always end up doing is in my Evernote, I have a series of um, like how I schedule things out. So essentially on Monday, I do a uh, social media newsletter. So under each thing, I just do like, I just set it up. Um, and all I do when I'm calendar blocking is just like uh, copy and paste. And so I don't have to worry about it. And then after that, I just set up like how much time I need for each thing. So I need one fourth of a day for my finances, one fourth for affiliate, one fourth for SEO, half a day for transferring content, half a day of drafting my weekly blog post. Um, so it's not really half a day. It's give or take like, you know, it just really depends. But this is how I essentially set everything up. So then I just copy and paste it into my um, calendar block. And so it's a little bit easier. And of course, I have my blue light blocking glasses because obviously I'm going to be on the computer the entire day. But um, I just wanted to say that when I was working full time, I was doing my social media automation on Sunday evenings. Um, and I was also kind of like drafting out emails and setting them up to be sent later during the week or, you know, the next day and whatnot. Um, it's very easy to get motivated uh, for me, like when I'm just getting tasks done that are quite important uh, for what I do. And so when I start the week with social media automation, it's, they're easy tasks, but they're things that, you know, you have to do. And so... I just feel like inspired for the rest of the week. So I don't like jump starting my week with something that's like brutal and difficult because I know that that's just gonna slow me down. Usually midweek, my energy is like quite peaked and I can do some of my most, most difficult tasks as you will see during this week. So just kind of understand your momentum, like figure out what works for you and what doesn't. The sun has finally made its appearance. Um, it's been really gloomy this entire week, over the weekend. Um, so it's really nice to finally have a little bit of the sun back. Also this evening, I am going to paint my nails. You guys voted on which nail polish I was going to, uh, that you guys want me to wear. So I am, I have chosen that. Um, as well as I'm just gonna relax and watch some TV, uh, cook some dinner, and yeah, chill out. Tomorrow I'm off on a day trip with my friend Amy um, and I'll let you guys know about it a little bit for in, I guess, in the next scene.
really nice day today. One thing that I miss about London is that, um, or I guess living in the UK in general, is that it's so easy to do day trips. Like you can hop on a, on a train and it's like fuss free. One thing that I was dreading about day trips out here is that obviously I have to drive and not only drive to the destination, but then drive to, like a lot within the city um, or the town or destination that I end up in. And though there was like a quite a bit of driving today, it still was so nice that I was able to explore a, a, a town that or like city, I guess, that I lived in and like know. Um, and to see that it's gone through like kind of like this revival um, is very inspiring. But B, like a town that was, it was just attainable, right? It was small, it was big enough where there was a lot to do, but also small enough where I was able to do a lot in a small period of time, but as well as like walk around, enjoy downtown, etc. Um, so I really, really enjoyed myself. I definitely needed today because it felt like I was. I was finally feeling quite inspired to do some work and when I was walking around today I was like actually this is something that I could definitely see like on my blog and I could totally see you guys enjoying the content too. <music> This is the portion of the blog or the vlog um, that everyone has kind of like been waiting for. I have been receiving so many questions about my personal life. Um, what is it that you're doing? Why did you leave London? What is your next step? Like, what is the whole point of all this? But two things. First one is, is that this is my personal life right um ultimately like for me to show you experiences about my career and my past and my history and all of that sort of stuff is a privilege um and i know like for me that's what i signed up for um but i this is a very critical time in my life where i'm trying to figure things out and i would love like a little bit of space the second thing is is that the reason why i'm not, not giving it completely away as to why i've come back or where i plan on going or what i plan on doing after this is because i want to make sure that i have access to all the opportunities that are going to that do exist out in the world the last thing i want to do is like say that oh i'm going to move to this country or that city or I'm going to do this in my life and then be limit be like excluded from all these other incredible opportunities that do exist. I have plateaued in my career in the sense that, you know, just like any of you guys, you have been in a career where you're at a company and you feel like you've outgrown that position, so you move on to another position or you get a promotion or you even move com companies because you feel like you've gotten the experience that you've had um, that you've needed and now you're ready to take those, ex those experiences um, and opportunities elsewhere. stressed out right now. I had to drive through um, rush hour traffic into downtown. 
context about all of this, I am not a good driver, uh, mostly because I haven't been driving at all in London, so I don't really have that much practice. I missed only one exit, had to take a roundabout, had to reroute four or five times maybe, but it was okay. Um, I am here at Tech and Beer. Um, it is a meetup uh, slash digital organization, an organization that kind of like celebrates digital um, in tech, in careers. Um, I believe they have chapters all around the world or majority i know that there are a ton in the us um and there is one in london as well so i'll leave a link below to tech and beer um and you can kind of get uh an idea of what it's all about i am just kind of like it's been nice kind of getting to know people um in the industry it kind of helps me like contextualize what's going on in terms of digital marketing digital media social media and like blog sort of stuff um i have just parked in uh the parking lot out outside of Brew Theory, uh, which is where it's going to be held at. And um, I'll take you guys along with me, but I do want to be a little bit conspicuous. When I was reading some of the comments of the people who are coming, it seems like it's an older crowd. So I'm kind of curious to see what's going on. <laughs> 